Okay, hello. Um, I got tagged by Doug the other week from a van on tour. So I've got to do 10 questions about, about the van. First one, I'm reading them from the back, so my eyes may dis disappear. What make and model is your van? This is a, it's a short wheel, short wheelbase Fiat Ducato, um, two litre JTD. Got it as, got it online one night when I was looking for a van. I wasn't gonna get this particular model, but I saw it, it was a good price. I texted the bloke and said, I'll give you so much for it. He texted me back and he was only about 16 miles away, which was ideal. We picked it up next morning. Second question, how long did your van build take? Uh, before this I had a Fiat Ducato which I stripped out. Um, that took me, oh, that took me a while, that took me about seven or eight months. Um, but that was buying all the bits and pieces for it, um, building the cabinets. So when I built this one, I had most of the things already set up. The bed was pretty much set up. I bought the cooker, the heater, the blinds, um, the curtains, and the swivel seats for the front. So I had most of the stuff. This one, I've had it for a year and a bit, and it's still not finished. It's I don't want it at the moment, but there's little bits to do. Wood trim round the round here and all the windows. There's there's those to put in. But most of it's done. I've done it originally to get out in it. it. Took me about four or five months. But then I've been adding bits to it. The back wall I've added. The doors are behind here. There's about that much gap, which has got a shower and coats and stuff and anything else I need to hang out there yeah so it's not finished I never in the three van builds I've done I don't think I've ever finished them number three uh, where was your favorite place to stay I've just on my way back from Scotland I've just spent two weeks up there that is my favorite place I keep on going back every year and I love it. I've got family up there, but I went as high as um, John O'Groats, first so round there, so Sutherland, and yeah, I love it. Least favorite place to stay. I haven't got one got a least favorite if I don't like a place I'll just move on simple as that how many people have you had in your van at one time ah now in this van only three people myself and uh, two others in my previous van I took it to work one day and about 12 people from work got in and sat there on the bed and on the sofa and yeah 12 people in the last van that was a tall bit express that was a few years ago now this van, only three people so far. Have you had any van disasters? Again, with this van, not disasters. When I bought it, it kept on going into limp mode. I eventually found out it was a water sensor, 12 pound, bought a new one, fitted it, never happened again. Um, for the last three weeks or so, it's been losing power slightly. When I'm coming into roundabouts and stuff like that, and as I pull away, the power drops for a couple of seconds and picks up. Saying that, um, I put some mass airflow sensor, cleaned that out, and it hasn't done it since. That was about three days ago, and it's been fine. In the last van, disaster after disaster. It was a Talbot Express, it was 30 years old, and yeah, yeah, 
gearbox nightmare. Um, gear selector broke, uh, the exhaust fell off. It was a nightmare. Yeah, an adventure that was. What is the favourite feature in this van? Question number seven. My favourite feature in this van, um, at the moment it's the bed. I used to have a double bed, um, which was lovely for stretching out, but because I had a double, du du a double duvet as well, um, and it touched the back doors, it got cold. So when you moved around in the bed, you'd find a cold spot. Um, yes, yeah, so that wasn't very nice. This one is only a single bed now, and with a single mattress. And like I say, I've got this wall here, so I'm not touching the back doors. And there aren't any cold spots on it. So yeah, this is the favorite bit. Least favorite thing about the van, having to put diesel in it. Least favorite thing, haven't really got a least favorite. Um, one thing I wanna change, under this cabinet, I've got an LPG bottle. It's nine kilograms. So it holds about 8.8 litres. I want to change that to a bigger one slung under the van. Something like a 30, 40 litre one. So I don't have to top up and try and find LPG as much. When I was in Scotland, I got up as far as Verso and then had to come back down to Inverness pretty much. Doorknock, which is pretty much in near Inverness, about 16 miles away. I had to travel all that distance, which was about 55 miles, just to top up, to go back up to Ferso. So yeah, least favorite thing, the size of my LPG bottle. Uh, my favorite. Part about van life. Been able to get in it and go. Just everything's packed up, been able to get in it and go. Not really have a plan, just drive and enjoy it. Last question is any tips um, about anyone venturing onto van life? Um, I've got a few friends that are adventuring onto van life. Um, yeah, probably like everyone says, just do it. Don't worry about getting your van completely finished and that. Just get it to how you want it. And get out there and enjoy it. Yeah, definitely. Get out there and enjoy it. And keep warm. Okay, if I have to nominate someone, I'd have to nominate Bernie and Vicky. Sorry. From Camper Van Capers. Sorry, guys. Take care.